Alright, sorry, I'm distracted though. Those wings smell really good. I'm, I'm obese. I ate half a stuffed crust pizza on my way here. I'm not even hungry, but I smell the wings. I'm like, I had a much better fitting shirt on, but I still have pizza grease all over it. It's not even a joke, it's true. Um, Alright, let's go next committee. Let's keep it moving. Let's put your hands together. Rick Ross wrote a song about him. Beaver Betts and Jake Bentley. Let's go. Anyone's gonna get is that's so funny. <laughs> I think West Hartford is by far the whitest Hartford. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they cemented that shit by putting in a cheesecake factory. <laughs> I don't know where Caucasia is, but I'll bet you anything the goddamn capital is a cheesecake factory. <laughs> it's the whitest menu ever, it's just everybody else's food, but worse. <laughs> chicken, but can I have that in a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> With a side of avocado toast. <laughs> so uh, my appendix and I just got divorced. <laughs> Thank you! They say surgically removed, but it cost half my money to take that shit, and that's a divorce. <laughs> I actually had to go to the ER twice. They sent me home the first time because they said I wasn't in enough pain for it to be appendicitis. And I blame it on that bullshit one to 10 pain chart. Because like you stub your toe badly enough and you're like, that's a fucking four. And then you think about it and you're like, that's almost halfway to getting your arm bitten off by a tire. I wanted to say my pain was a nine, but I was like, there's a dude out there whose legs just got run over by a steamroller, and I don't want to invalidate his experience. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep my appendix, maybe like put it in a little jar and like name it and give it fish food. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. Um, I just, I wanted something to name. I like naming shit. I think that's something in human history that like, it's, it's true of everything. We love naming shit. And it started off really normal. We're like, I had a kid, I should probably name that. That is a dog I will keep at my house. I'm gonna name that too. And then like somewhere we're like, let's name a hurricane. Like what's that, like why does that need to be humanized? You're like, mommy, look what I found. Can we bring it home? No, we have one at home. No, that's a tropical storm. <laughs> And then, like, we wonder why Floridians won't leave their house when hurricanes come. They're like, this is my house. I'm not leaving it. Why won't they leave it? Because you named it Terry. That's why. People from Florida aren't afraid of Terry. You need to name it shit that they're afraid of. Hurricane income tax. Everyone will leave it. the first naming of a hurricane just came from some really fucked up make-a-wish kid. <laughs> what do you want as your final wish? <laughs> I just want to take out New Orleans, <laughs> Mississippi, and fuck up a bunch of rednecks. <laughs> you know, I think we have a way to solve this, Katrina. kids for their wishes. Oh. Besides God. <laughs> Barefoot King Tessa turned down a make a wish kid three times. And I don't blame her. Because if you came up to me and you were like, hey Jay, there's a make a wish kid here who wants to meet you, and his last wish was to meet Barefoot King Tessa, I wouldn't want to meet him. <laughs> Conversely, the person who has done the most make-a-wishes is John Cena. I don't know if these kids really want John Cena, or if he's just the go-to, like, backup when they can't get the first place. They're like, hey, Timmy, I know you wanted to meet The Rock. He's busy filming a movie, but here's 
here's John Cena. And the kid's like, there's no one there. And he's like, I know, you can't see him. Well, that's bullshit. It's okay, you're gonna meet Randy Savage soon too. Savage went to heaven. 